sleeve, long sleeve jacket, but it's fine because I turned my AC on in my car, so I'm good to go. Um, I am headed to this little store, this gas station, to pick up me some old peanuts, and then I'm gonna go to the movies. I had to sneak some old peanuts in because, like, I have not eaten all day, and when I don't eat, I get extremely hungry, of course, like everyone else. But then, like, um, it's hard for me to figure out what I want to eat, so I just get boiled peanuts, and then maybe after I eat the boiled peanuts, I can come to like an agreement with myself on what I'm going to eat. Does that happen to anybody else? Like, do you ever get so hungry that like it's so many places around you that you can go to, but it's just like you can't make a decision or you don't know what to eat? And then you just use a, a snack to sub substitute that, like, extra, extra hungerness. And then, like, and then after you eat the snack, a few hours later, you just, like, grab something, like, to eat. Does, does that make sense, y'all? <laughs> okay, yeah. But anyways, Judah is not with me, as you guys can see. Thank you, Lord, because I needed to stay to myself all week long. I've been, like... Work, 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 work. So, schedule full, and I just haven't had time to myself to just like, you know, usa, breathe. So, this day is my day, and I'm gonna take advantage of it. This morning, I got up, cleaned the entire house, except my room. Y'all, my room always come last. Like, I think living room, the kitchen, bathroom, my room. It's just... <sighs> and then, the, at the same time, it's just like, bro, why do I need to even clean my room? Because my child, as soon as he sees it clean, what he's going to do? Destroy. Destroy, destroy. And that's just so annoying. Because literally, right after I clean my room, he's pulling stuff down and just, like, doing the absolute most. But we're going to go to the movies. Um, we're gonna also uh, clean my car out because my car is dirty. Haven't had time to um, clean my car because my schedule has been hectic, y'all. I've been like study, study, work, work, child, child, no me time to do what I need to do. But Let me wipe y'all off because you guys are a little dirty. I gotta make sure y'all are right because it was like a little glare in the in the screen, like a little one, but it's cool. I'm gonna get out, go get me some boiled peanuts. I would take you guys in there with me, but we're not gonna do that today because I'm kind of in a rush. I'm just finding dollars all over my car, just picking them up. Spare change. <laughs> Cause like I really I don't want to use my card and I'm not going to so yeah I'll be back y'all. Oh y'all why did this have to happen to me? Oh my gosh it's 12:53 maybe I have time maybe I don't bro I just okay so if I get there like five minutes late that's okay because the ads are playing the commercials are playing so I should be good but guys I went in there and she was like you might not want those because I just put them in there and I'm just like. No! Like, I hate that that happened, bro. Like, I don't like eating peanuts when they're, like, just put in there because they're, like, all extra hard and stuff. And, like, which way should I go? But I'm glad she told me. She tells me every time whenever I go in there and she just put them in there. That's definitely a lifesaver because I, honestly, y'all, I just want to throw them away because mm -hmm, I'm not about to eat those. Mm -hmm. But, okay, which way should I go? This way, this way, this way. Which way is the fastest? Maybe I should have went that way, bro. Oh my gosh, it's 12:54, y'all. Let me try to figure this out. This way. All right, we might get there in time. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, how is your Sunday going? Are you guys happy that we don't have to go into work tomorrow? Well, I don't because it's late day, and it's my birthday. <laughs> Y'all, I'm happy, but I'm sad because I'm getting elderly, so it's just like, girl. And then sometimes, 
like people don't even make it this far this the year like this year last year the year before that the year you don't want to tell your age because it's just like girl you you elderly <laughs> yo i'm here laughing at myself i'm kind of funny kind of sort of sometimes you probably didn't even think that was funny but it was funny to me but y'all lord jesus i'm elderly in the making like but yo i just i'm hungry right now do y'all see that clorox in the bag like i need to move that asap because why are you in my video i didn't ask for a feature y'all okay so i was driving and then like I got to like my destination really fast and I was thinking to myself, I'm just so happy that my town is like this small because some places like Columbia and Alaska, like, or it's a lot of driving to get to point A to point B to point C to point B. It's just, it's too much. Like, I, don't know. I like a small town like this, but like, it's just a lot better. It only took me like what five yeah five minutes to get here because it's 105 right now but hopefully they have what i need if not it's okay that just means i don't need them you know you know but i'm hungry i haven't eaten all day y'all <laughs> all right let's see tell me where you going from hey when i used to um drop it off at daycare i used to come here a lot to um, get real good. Please tell me why I'm in a rush And this lady just talked me to death Talked me to death y'all And I kept trying to escape But she kept bringing me back in Like she, did you see this one? Look here Like she was showing me stuff on her phone And I'm just like bro I'm trying to catch a movie Let me go I don't want to talk right now <laughs> Please And before I went in there I literally Oh my gosh I was telling God to give me patience on my journey in life. <laughs> ah! He really tested me just now. He tried it. <laughs> but y'all, she was showing me this thing, like a nose ring that helps you lose weight. And she was showing me pictures like before and after results. And I'm just like, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. And then I was telling her, like, some people would love that. And she said, you don't even have to exercise. You just put it in your nose and it just takes the weight off you and stuff. So, I don't know if that's, like, true or, like, what the case may be. But she said she bought six of them and they're $19.99 a piece. I told her to let me know how it goes. And then I tried to escape like three or four times and she drug me right on back in there she was like did you see this you saw you saw where you what site you need to go to did you, you you see how many you need to get and i'm just like bro i'm just trying to get to the cinema so i can see my movie <laughs> oh yeah by the way y'all i'm gonna see this movie called the invitation um i think it's a scary movie i didn't watch too much of a um the preview on it because i didn't you guys know how they like um play too much of the preview and sometimes they ruin the movie because like dang y'all about to put the whole movie in the preview like what's going on but yeah i got my bull peanuts i'm gonna get my purse put them in my purse and then i'm gonna buy a drink in here because the drinks at the place there um they were really expensive they're gonna be expensive here too though but it's worth it because you get like a large and it's 115 so the movie probably already started so i'm gonna go ahead and run in here y'all and i'll talk to you guys after the movie okay y'all so that movie was really good like i told you guys i only watched like some of the preview i didn't watch it all so i really didn't know what i was expecting whenever i like walked in there i just know that um I just know that the movie was about a girl being invited to some house and then like crazy stuff started to happen. I didn't know it was like a vampire-ish. But it was a pretty good movie. I give that movie a I would say a nine, nine five out of ten. Cause the ending was like 
the ending was it was like it was really really good but the the very very end of the movie it was like dang i wonder what happened next like you know that kind of thing but it might be a series to this movie i don't know maybe not i don't know i don't know i don't know anything about like vampire movies and stuff and how they do this kind of stuff but it was it was pretty interesting so now i just have to go wash my car and yeah that's gonna be about all i do today and then just go clean my room so yeah but y'all whenever we got outside why did i say we nobody with me nobody but me my drink like that's it but whenever i got outside that sunlight hit me in the face like it was so dark in that movie and then like the scenes were like extra dark because they're vampires so when i got outside that sunset pew, I thought I was about to <laughs> melt. <laughs> y'all so we have to get this car cleaned it looks so dirty i'm gonna show y'all like all of this mess in my car you got a uh, vacuum under that rug right there all of these all this stuff in my seat Y'all, this is the worst of the worst of the worst. Judah did this. Come on now. And then all of his trash in the bag. Just, ugh. Definitely needs to be cleaned out for real. Alright guys, so I ended up cleaning out my car. And it looks perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So much better. Oh lord. I also shine my tires too while I was at it. And then boom. Looks so much better. I just wanna cry guys. And then the tires look good too. They were looking a little dusty but I am back um the last time i was on the vlog i think i was showing you guys my clean car no i went grocery shopping at aldi's i haven't gone there and like let me move this car because we're in the sun and i'm too bright just a little bit too bright so but yeah guys um i went to aldi and i got uh, a few groceries for tomorrow because tomorrow is labor day and we're gonna cook on the grill and stuff but then afterwards i went to burger king and y'all i literally sat in that line for 40 minutes i'm not lying like wait like, 45 50 minutes because when i got there i was on the phone with my brother for about 10 minutes 10 to 12 minutes and i was like i mentioned i was like hey they're taking too long are you sure you want this and he was like yeah i would get checkers but then no you can just stay at Burger King. And then I was like, oh my gosh, we got no way. We have to wait again. Like, I'm not trying to wait. I'm going to tell y'all this. If Judah was with me, I would have left after five minutes. Because we wouldn't have been able to sit in this car for no 40 minutes. But anyways, it was 12 minutes. Then I asked him about it. I was like, what food do you want? And he was like, yeah, you can stay at Burger King. So I got off the phone with him and i watched a video that was 14 minutes after the video i ended up calling him back and they still hadn't taken my order so i called him and i was like they still like i'm not sure why they're not accepting orders like i'm at the box he told me to wait like 15 minutes ago because i literally just watched this video 15 minutes still hasn't taken my order yet so he told me to wait again after i guess he heard me on the phone saying that and then um there was this girl she got out her car and she went 
inside and she said it was like 10 people just standing around not doing nothing they're not taking orders at all like and i was like okay so i guess we're just gonna sit here for a little bit longer <sighs> wait it out because i'm sure since she complained it's a possibility that you know sh they might go ahead and take my order so i'm sitting at a box for about five more minutes and then they end up taking my order so then i get to the window i pay for the food and then I literally sit there for like 20 minutes because my brother mentioned, hey, they still haven't given you an order. 20 minutes, literally, y'all, because I looked at the time on the on the car, on the screen, on the camera thinking or whatever, the, the little dashboard thing. It shows the time, how long you've been on the phone. It was 20 minutes. So I sat at Burger King for like 40 minutes waiting for food, y'all. But as I'm waiting at the window, I'm like, bro, I might as well get me a drink or like some fries or something. So I was like, hey, can I have a Whopper Junior meal with a Sprite, please? And then he was like, yeah, but you're going to have to wait because they just dropped the food. No, he said we're going to have to wait because we're waiting on fries. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was nice about it. I didn't have an attitude or anything because like I'm just enjoying this time to myself. Like just oh. I know it's been an hour i already waited an hour but if i have to wait longer it's fine my brother want this and it's just like judah's not with me so i'm a patient person overall i would say i would consider myself a patient person but ever since i had my kid it's like i i've been a little bit more on the impatient side because he starts whining and stuff and i'm just like bro i have to leave so yeah i ended up getting my food for free which was a whopper junior meal with cheese like he didn't um take my cash app card or anything i just like when he gave me my food i was like here you go here's my card i want to pay now after all that time like i been should have paid but i guess it was already on his heart to give me free food because i had already sat out there for an hour or so but he was like no don't worry about it and then he was like like okay all right bye but it was a whole line of cars behind me y'all so i don't know if he about to give them free food too or like what and then my brother got the six dollar meal it came with like two burgers um the the um chicken fries uh some french fries and i think that's about it that comes with the six dollar meal but he ended up having to pay for his but my food i didn't have to pay for so <sighs> I know that was long y'all four minutes long of telling that story mm. but yeah y'all i'm gonna go home now i was gonna show you guys um the the stuff that i got from aldi's mm. aldi's is a great store y'all like i'll be sleeping on them because i always go to walmart but from now on i think i'm gonna go to aldi's because they they have like everything you need hopefully the stuff that i got hasn't like you know melted or whatever but we got this lobster shrimp mac and cheese that we're gonna try whenever we have salmon maybe this week or next week i'm not sure because this week y'all it's my birthday week so you know we're doing crab legs so i might put the salmon in the deep freezer and the uh the macaroni for uh next week and then we also got like some broccoli some uh some zucchini just like some healthy stuff some healthy snacks we got some peanuts some cashews um uh, we got a supreme pizza, but it's like low calorie because it's like on a thin bread or whatever. And we got we got a good bit of stuff. I might do a little a flash of what we got. I think I already did that whenever. And then another thing that we got was this green tea with honey in it. If y'all never try that, please go try that. It's like y'all know how they have those the Arizonas. It's like a green tea Arizona with honey it's so good try that but i'm gonna end off this vlog y'all because it's already been too long and 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 i don't want to make it too, 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 too long so bye y'all thank you for watching be great be blessed have a great week i might vlog again this week i don't know yet but we'll see y'all thank y'all for watching bye